This is the idea I had for the beehive, uh, I, where I thought I was going to protect the bees over the winter uh, by using this nice uh, quilt box that I built. Uh, basically, it's a wood wood frame, and I tacked cotton fabric on the bottom of it and filled it with sawdust and put it on top of the hive. Well, over the summer, uh, the bees came up through the hole in the inner cover and started building honeycomb and, and chewing the bottom side of uh, this quilt box, which is the, uh, the cotton fabric. So, what I've done is uh, I took some aluminum screening and I stapled that over the fabric so the bees can't get to the fabric. And I thought, okay, that'll protect it over the winter and it will insulate the ins inside of the hive and uh, let the hive breathe. This is the cover that I just took off of the hive. It's the, the top cover. It's also called a telescoping cover. I have it upside down. The aluminum top to it is on the bottom right now. I've put the quilt box inside the telescoping cover uh, to make sure that it is going to fit uh, because of the added fabric and the screening that I stapled on, which I, the more I look at this, the less I like it. I'm going to do something else, but that'll be another day. Uh, and my idea was I got a 1 by 6 by 8 feet, and I'm going to extend this telescoping cover so that it will, when I cover the whole hive, it will come down and cover the seams of the quilt and the top box. Okay, I made the uh, wooden frame, which is going to be an extension of the uh, lid or telescope, telescoping cover to the beehive. And I drilled little holes. Uh, I drilled a hole uh, as you can see here, three quarters or five and a quarter inches in from each corner on the uh, wooden frame and on the telescoping uh, cover. And then I cut some, uh, I cut a three quarter, or I'm sorry, I cut a one quarter inch wooden dowel, uh, about an inch. I cut two, four, six, eight eight of those one quarter inch dowels about an inch long and glued them into the lid cover and now I'm going to put the extension on and clamp them. <laughs>